expect the unexpected. As the leader of the prophets of God, Elisha has responsibilities to meet with, deploy, and advise the company of prophets that serve under his supervision. But the number of prophets under his authority grows until it becomes necessary for them to construct a new space to meet. The company of prophets doesn't just want to go and build their new meeting place with Elisha's blessing. They want Elisha to go with them and to work alongside them as they complete the task. As they begin the work of cutting lumber for the new meeting place, one of the prophets loses a borrowed iron axe head in the river. This was a big deal because an iron tool would have been an expensive and prized possession. The prophets would have been severely indebted to the person to whom the axe head belonged if it was truly lost. So the one who lost it consults Elisha about what to do. <clears throat> How will they make it? Elisha throws a stick into the river where it fell. and Miraculously, the axe head floats to the surface to be retrieved. This may seem a trivial moment to affect such a wonder, but Elisha knew the moment he left his home and went to help with the construction of the meeting place that his authority and leadership would be needed in unexpected ways. He went prepared to demonstrate his leadership and authority with and for the company of prophets so that they would know that they were all in God's mission together. What opportunities do we miss to show people the power and authority of God because we think the need isn't great enough or is too trivial?